Why Knowledge Matters. I have a, a strong view. I'm, you know, I'm an older generation, but we were trained classically. Uh, you know, learn the Latin and Greek, learn German and French, and so forth. And that you don't really understand your own tradition unless you study it deeply. That it's not simply a matter of, um, at least for some of us, it's not simply a matter of practicing the faith, which for most people might be quite sufficient, but of knowing it, studying it, thinking about it, uh, going deep into it. And I think what I found then as a young man in the, in the 70s was that why would we not treat somebody else's religious tradition in the same way? So uh, having a superficial knowledge of my own tradition and a superficial knowledge of their tradition doesn't sound like a good idea. But neither is it a good idea to have a deep, as deep as one can, or you know, thoughtful understanding of one's own tradition, and then a superficial understanding of the other tradition. And I felt that really these had to be in parallel, these two kind of deeper understandings that I could go back and forth with some sense of parity, some mutual respect, so that if I was going to learn the Latin and Greek and study the classics of Christian tradition, somewhat, as best I could, then I should do and honor the Hindu traditions in the same way by studying the classics, reading the commentaries, studying with teachers, trying to go deep. So instead of um, quick or surface learning, going deep back and forth between the two, as a way of honoring the tradition of the Roman Catholic faith to which I belong, which encourages this deep learning, and honoring the Hindu learning of the traditions I study, which also honor deep learning and expect that at least some people will be deeply learned. So deeply learned once, twice, and then deeply learned in the two together was the ideal within the limits of you know, my capacity. Mm -hmm.